I would right. call it. Um, what? Oh, that's a good one. Okay. Um, yeah, that's, that's the winery, by the way, with the coin logo, the coin on the bottles. The winery is right up there on top of this. Oh, uh, they create that wine. Yeah, that's a Psagot winery. And these houses with the red roofs here. Bejala, oh. Bejala. We met them in Bejala. Oh, okay. So, be, no, so Bejala. The Christian uh, but, like hotel, you right, know. Right, but Bejala. I've also been to Bejala, but Bejala is a place where it's not generally normal for Jews to be. Meaning, it wasn't it's not just a question of legally where we can meet Palestinians. It also has to be a place where socially people are used to seeing Jews and Palestinians there all the time. So, I went there with Palestinians and I'm Jewish. Right, but you, but I would walk in with some seat and a kippah and a beard, and it's like, what's he doing here? So yeah. we, we want to make sure that we're meeting in places where nobody looks at them or us and say, what, what's he doing? Yeah. Like it messes up the, yeah. Like so also, this used to be Migron. We're going to pass, like on our left now, this is, we're, we're passing one of the highest mountains in the area. Um, on, on our left right now, this is a mountain they call Migron. And it was demolished. Like, there was a Jewish village on top, right? Yeah. Uh, where there's still something left. Let's see if I can see it. But there's still something left of it. Uh, we'll see it. So this is all on our left, this was Migron, and it was destroyed by Netanyahu. He demolished all the homes because... Um, because of Obama. What? Because of yeah, Obama. Because, because of American pressure, basically. I mean, that's, yeah. that's why all the house demolitions take place. So those red-roofed little houses you saw under the winery is where they put all of the Jewish refugees from Migron. It's also, it's a high, we're, we're on the top of it now. Like, if you look to your left, this is um, the, the reason why Migron was here. here. And in the eye, yeah, there's still those two poles, kind of. Those were like tr electricity towers. But this is like the highest mountain in the whole region. Whoever controls this mountain really, you know, controls strategically the whole area. So Got this it. used to be full of homes. And this was a Jewish community. It was all destroyed. Um, yeah, it was, I guess, three years ago. Now, like, and nothing has taken its place so far. No, because so, so what happened was there's a Palestinian who claimed... What happened was in 2005, Tagus yeah. Hassan did a report for the... Um, Sharon had to do a report on what's private land, what's state land, etc. Right. And uh, the Israeli government had, had uh, not accepted until that point royal gifts that had been given by King Hussein to Mukhtar's loyalty as regime in the early 60s. Okay. So, like he'd, he gave a lot of land in the West Bank to, to different, you know, Mukhtars. On condition, they worked the land and they paid taxes on the land, which they didn't really do. And then in 1967, Israel took it back, so it wasn't even an issue. So, Talia Sasson in 2005 said retroactively all of the lands that were given as gifts by King Hussein now belong to the families he gave them to. So, we, so then what happens? Uh, there's two organizations, both funded by the European Union, Peace Now and Yishtin. Okay. And they went and they, they both share a lawyer. His name is Michael Svart. Right. And this lawyer went to like the grandchildren of the Palestinian Mukhtars who. King Hussein gave the land to, and they said, guess what, you own land. Let's go to the Supreme Court. And they went to the Supreme Court, and there's a Jewish community on the land, and they said, we have to destroy this Jewish community now because it's on Palestinian land. I got you. Now, what ends up happening, though, is they destroy the Jewish community, but they don't give it to the Palestinian because of security reasons or whatever, he can't access his land. So in the end, you know, I mean, there's money. I'm sure that the Arab who comes to the Supreme Court to say it's his land gets paid a lot, but he doesn't get his land. But it's a way, it, this is a mechanism the methodology that the Europeans use in order to get Jew, like less Jews in the West Bank. So because Netanyahu finally gave in and went ahead and destroyed the homes, right? You know, but what did he do? He put the Jews who lived there just a few kilometers this way. Right. So they stayed in the West Bank. And so this is what this is a Palestinian. No, this is it's Palestinian. You see the mask. You see yeah, the mask. Yeah, yeah. So you know it's Palestinian. So you see, you say that we're closing on them, but this is the West Bank right. where now. So this is a Palestinian place, and then you have a Jewish settlement. Like everything is like it's not. See how broad we have play. We have room for everybody. No, there's room. There's definitely room for everybody here, but we're not allowed to grow. Like we're it's, we're strangled in terms of our ability to grow in these areas. In these areas, right? Like uh, one of the reasons we're strangled is we because we put fences around our communities, which you should. 